This is the scene in Mexican cities on the border with the United States. Before sunrise, thousands of migrants from Central America, Venezuela, and Mexico waiting for news on a U.S. immigration policy called Title 42. Border restriction policies put in place during the COVID-19 pandemic by former U.S. President Donald Trump were set to expire on Wednesday. Large groups of migrants are hoping to use the expiration as an opportunity to apply for asylum just across the border in places like El Paso or San Diego. I'm going to ask for permission to see if they let me enter legally, and if not, then I am going to try to stay here for a while to see if they give me asylum. Title 42 is a public health measure that allows U.S. officials to deport undocumented migrants based on health concerns during the pandemic. The Biden administration asked the U.S. Supreme Court to keep the restrictions in place at least until next Tuesday. Across Mexico, migrant shelters are already at full capacity. Texas Governor Greg Abbott, a Republican, called out the National Guard to block the possible influx of large numbers of migrants. Many migrants say they're fleeing political and economic instability and violence in places like Haiti, Nicaragua and Venezuela. States, you see incredible amounts of Migrants' advocacy time. organizations across the United States are calling on all members of the U.S. Congress to seek a long-term solution to regional problems that provoke widespread immigration from Latin America. We just came out of a midterm elections where immigration once again played a central role, specifically with the, with the stunts that both the governor of Texas and the governor of Arizona uh, were, uh, have done of sending buses uh, to D.C. at the beginning, now New York, uh, and Chicago, and, and Philadelphia. Advocates say the U.S. economy is facing a labor shortage that migrants could fill. They are urging politicians to create a new immigration system that allows this to happen legally. Frank Contreras, CGTN, Mexico.